Welcome Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel if you're returning. If you're new, welcome. If my readings resonate, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. This will be Scorpio's love reading. We're going to take a look at Scorpio at your current energy. We're also going to take a look at what's coming up next for you, who's coming in. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to take a look at how open you are to receiving this new love interest. And also any challenges that you'll face. And there we will get some advice. Okay, Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio in love for January 1st through the 15th? What's coming in for Scorpio? <clears throat> we have cut the cords. Okay. And we have signs and reminders. And at the bottom, Scorpio, we have a learning experience. So, Scorpio, uh, what I'm getting is that you may have had to cut someone out of your life. You may have to remove someone. Um, and I feel like that letting that person go is very bittersweet i feel like you see that person in your surroundings you're constantly having reminders of that person um i feel like this was a very big learning experience for you um this is something that was very hard for you to go through this was not something that you were looking forward to experiencing this was something that kind of left you heartbroken scorpio it it really made you view love in a totally different way because you weren't expecting this love to end you weren't expecting to have to walk away from this person for whatever reason you were expecting the situation to last and endure. And I apologize, my voice is starting to <laughs> starting to leave, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> so if you're having trouble hearing me, I apologize. I'll try to work that out at the end of the video. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? What is going on with Scorpio in love? For January 1st through the 15th. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. I don't think this person is totally gone. We have the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Cups. We have the... Emperor, we have the Queen of Swords, okay, we have the High Priestess, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, the Fool, <clears throat> and the King of Cups. Okay, we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. Um, also, Scorpio, your current energy and love is the moon. So I feel like you're, you're really having a tough time with the situation, especially the person that you had to 
move away from. Um, and I feel like those feelings are kind of lingering. You're not really trusting yourself or your decisions. You're not really trusting um, your intuition. And I feel like you're in sort of a stuck energy. I feel like you're not sure if you want to move forward. You're not sure if you want to move back. You're just stuck. And, I, I, you know, when you end a relationship, that's a very clear emotion. And it's very common. It There's nothing wrong with it. It just means that you have a heart. Your heart was broken. Um, plans that you were really devoting your time to, your heart to, didn't come to pass. So it's just natural that you wouldn't want to overlook how you're feeling at the moment. The Scorpio. <clears throat> With the Six of Cups card coming out very first, that's the first card out. You know, I feel like this person isn't totally gone. They're still, they're still hanging out. They're still trying to win you back. They're trying to come back into the situation. They may do that by some sort of communication. I feel like they're going to try to talk to you. They're going to try to text you. They may be, um, if they, I, I feel like if they've left things at your home, that they don't want to come get all of it they want to kind of leave something there so that they can come back <clears throat> they're kind of giving you time to cool off seeing if the situation changes but uh, scorpio i feel like you know you're not sure where you want to go with the situation but you know that you want to focus on yourself you know that you'd rather be alone than to deal with whatever it is this person did. You'd rather be alone. So, I mean, I'm not sure what, what they did, but it was enough to make you feel like you want to take a lot of time out for yourself. Okay, Scorpio. Now... You do have the Queen of Cups and the Emperor. So I feel like someone could be coming in for you. Even while you're healing, even while you're going through this situation, I feel like you're going to have a new offer. In fact, you may have several new offers. You have the Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like <clears throat> whatever this person lost in you, they lost a good thing because it looks like other people want it. Other people see you and they're taking notice. You're turning heads, Scorpio. You definitely have more than one love that's available to you. And with this emperor energy, this could be your energy or this could be someone coming in. But I feel like this person is very assertive. They're ready to take control of the situation and, you know, just step in and just conquer everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, I feel like this emperor is coming in a very powerful way. They're coming to really be assertive and take action. But you're definitely turning heads here, Scorpio. So I, I don't feel like you should dwell on this past situation. All those, this past person is coming in as well. This past person wants you back. They don't want to let you go. They don't want you to move on without them. So they, they might be 
making a, a little bit of, you know, waves for you. But I feel like, you know, you have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups as well. So, hey, there's counterparts here. I mean, this is very powerful. The King of Cups, he doesn't play with his emotions. He's very emotional, but he knows how to control them. He's very caring, very giving, very loving. He knows how to take care of you. He knows your wants and he, you know, goes for it. The Queen of Cups, she's very nurturing, very caring, very kind. So, I mean, <clears throat> this person lost something big in Scorpio. They lost something good. And I feel like they know it. That's the reason why they want to come back. But Scorpio, I feel like in order for you to be happy, you need to trust yourself. Trust your judgment again. Even though this person hurts you and it may have caused you not to trust, I feel like you need to trust yourself. You need to trust your decisions. All of the secrets that you thought were unknown, untold, those secrets are out, you know? And be it good or bad, you're you're finding happiness. You're not dwelling on the situation. You're happy in the situation. Maybe you're socializing. Maybe you're getting out for the holiday. Maybe you are, you know, you're partying. You're living it up. I feel like you're not sitting at home waiting on this past person to contact you. You have other options. You have a new beginning. This is something new coming in. And I feel like with the Seven of Wands, I feel like, you know, you Scorpio, you should set your boundaries. But don't fight people off. You know, don't make yourself so unavailable with your boundaries so high that someone new can't come in and grab your attention. <clears throat> because with this Seven of Wands energy, I feel like there's more than one person coming towards you. But I feel like because of this hurt energy of the past, you are kind of making yourself unavailable. You've set your boundaries so high, it's like you're beating those, these people off. You're, you're scaring them away. They like, they, they don't, <clears throat> they don't know how to come to you, Scorpio, that will make you see that they have good intentions, that they want to be a new beginning for you. They want, they want to take you on a new adventure. One of these people wants to be your new love and like i said you have several options you do not have to dwell on the past this past person is, is done and over with and whatever they did to hurt you to make you you know walk away from that situation it must have been a good reason so i mean scorpio you you should really focus on the new and discard the old. <clears throat> but I feel like your challenge is the Seven of Wands. This is your challenge. Your challenge is the Seven of Wands. Setting your boundaries at a standard to where you're not unavailable. People don't see you as unavailable. Um, people see you as approachable. You know? Um, I think that is your challenge. That's your challenge. Scorpio. See, Spirit, how can Scorpio get through their challenge? How can they be more approachable, not be unavailable? Oh, okay. I hear you. <clears throat> if I can grab the card. Okay, Spirit is letting you know to have strength. Have courage. Be fearless. Scorpio, you are strong. You are a force to be reckoned with. Scorpio, I mean, 
you lead with your heart. You're so caring, so giving. I mean, Scorpio, I mean, I'm going to tell you straight. Scorpio, you have a temper. I'm not even going to lie. You have a temper. But I feel like you know how to control your temper. You know how to keep things calm. You have the ability to turn heads. You have the ability to do whatever you like. Yeah. Have strength. Be fearless. Because this is what's coming. You have the lovers. You also have the judgment at the bottom, Scorpio. Brand new beginning. A new birth. A reawakening of the spirit. Um, this is new hope. This is you making that final decision that, you know, this isn't all there is. I have all of this love that's surrounding me. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this new love, this new journey, this new path. That's what the judgment is. Your wake up call. Finding a new life's purpose. Finding new love. That is your judgment. Definitely. I love this for you, Scorpio. I really do. This is this is just exciting. Okay, let's see. What advice do we have for Scorpio? What advice do we have for Scorpio? What is the advice for Scorpio and love for January 1st? the 15th the high priestess yeah the high priestess on the high priestess trust your intuition Scorpio trust yourself trust that you make the right decisions trust that you attract the right people trust your intuition Trust that gut feeling, Scorpio. If your gut is telling you that this person has bad intentions, feel them out and make a decision to move past it. You know? I'm not saying to, you know, make a, a quick thought that could be wrong. I'm just saying follow your intuition in the situation. Usually your intuition doesn't lead you wrong. Okay. You've got the Six of Cups again. So definitely trust your intuition when it comes to this person trying to come back. Because this past person, this past person is definitely trying to come back and win you over. They want to come back and get you back. And I feel like they're not past doing something sneaky in order to get your attention or in order to cause chaos. What other advice do we have for Scorpio? What other advice do we have for Scorpio in love? <clears throat> The Two of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Wands. So, I feel like you should make a clear-cut choice. A clear-cut choice. Make it very precise to this person if you want them back or if you don't. Because I think making that clear-cut choice Deciding how you want your plans to go. Um, deciding where you want your future to go is where I need to say. Um, will actually help this situation. Because and I feel like this person wants to be a part of your future. That's the reason why they keep they keep trying to come back. They they want they've made plans. And I'm not sure if they're good plans. But um this person definitely don't want to see you leave. You have the Justice card and the Page of Cups. 
So definitely karma coming back to this person from the past. Yeah, whatever they did to you, Scorpio, that karma is coming back to them. That karma is coming back to them because you're moving on. You're getting more love offers. People are approaching you. People are asking you out. They're sending you messages. They're trying to talk to you. And I think once this person, once this past person gets wind of that, they're going to be just jealous out of their mind because they don't want to see you move on. But they're getting their karma. They're getting whatever it is that they, they deserve. Yeah, you have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so this person is being very sneaky. Like I said, I don't I don't put past anything that they do. They, they're going to kind of try to come back with some kind of sneakiness, some kind of con conniving um, actions. I feel like this person is saying, if I can't have you, I don't want you with anybody else. I feel like this person is very controlling, very... Very narcissistic like that. They they don't want to see you with anybody else. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, but they have no choice. They have no choice, Scorpio. Because you want in your life someone who's going to give you the same thing that you're giving. You want the same attention, the same attitude the same caring that you give that person you want that back in return you want equal give and take you want to feel that that equal give and take from someone and seven of pentacles so we're going from the six of pentacles to the seven of pentacles so yeah you <laughs> you are you're looking for someone who's willing to do the work. Not only the, the equal give and take, Scorpio, but you're looking for someone who's willing to do the work, who's willing to make the sacrifices, who's willing to be your partner, be your, your co-head, you know? Uh, <clears throat> you, you're looking for that soulmate, that helpmate, that interaction that you're not on your own. You don't have to do anything on your own. I'm with you. You know, and I feel like that's what you're looking for. And if they can't give that to you, I feel like you have no problem moving on. Because I think that you've set your standards pretty high when it comes to love, um, Scorpio. I think your standards are pretty high. Okay. Yeah, you have the, the Ace of Wands at the bottom. So, yeah, definitely new fiery passion coming in. This is a new beginning for you. This is new opportunity. Opportunity for new love, new passion, new, new sparks, new creative energy. Someone who's going to make you feel alive. Someone who's going to make you feel like your body is on fire. <laughs> You know, um, wonderful energy, Scorpio. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio in love? What other advice do we have for Scorpio? What other advice do we have for Scorpio? Reconsider. This person definitely wants you to reconsider. They want you back. And we already know that, Spirit. This person wants them back. Okay. Now, with the new love, we need you to be assertive. <clears throat> Actually, Scorpio, be assertive in everything that you do. Be assertive. Take the high road. You know, with be strong. Be, be fearless. Be, you know, courageous. Because you have new love that's surrounding you. New vibrant love that's very fiery and passionate. New love that, you know, with new love, it's going to take you on a new journey. You'll experience new things. 
Oops. And you also throw cards around. Three cards came out. Let's see. Okay, so meditation brings answers. So yeah, I mean, if you're looking for guidance, Scorpio, meditate, talk to your angels, bring, um, they, they'll bring you the answers through meditation. If you've never meditated, there's plenty of videos on meditation. Um, how to be grounded, how to be more aligned and in tune with spirits. And there's something better. Yes, we have that. There's something better for you, Scorpio. There's something better than what you've been through. And we have get more information. So I think if answers is what you need, then ask for the answers. Go to meditate and find the answers through meditation. Listen to your inner soul. Listen to your inner being. Trust your intuition. You have the high priestess twice, Scorpio. So I feel like trusting your intuition is very important. <laughs> At the bottom, you have no need to worry. You're protected. You're being taken care of, Scorpio. Whatever you're going through, you're being taken care of. <clears throat> Let's get some angel advice for Scorpio and love for January 1st through the 15th. We're going to take that one. We have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. See, that's just like what I was feeling, Scorpio. You are being protected. You have a divine power that is around you, protecting you, helping you through your situation. We have Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Know your power. And you also have Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Powerful, powerful healing, powerful healing. You have protection from the Archangel Raphael and Archangel Uriel. You have divine protection, Scorpio. Divine protection. Okay, Scorpio. This is your reading. And new love is coming. This love is going to be vibrant, bright, happy, and full of hope. Okay, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, uh, share the reading if it resonates, and put your comments down below. <clears throat> and if you'd like, put the comments, I have angel protection and healing. Okay, and Happy New Year, Scorpio. Many blessings, love and light.